The bearing cup acts as an isolator between the ball bearing and the housing. It keeps the bearing centered to the housing and brushes, but still allows for a small amount of movement. The bearing cup is typically replaced due to a bearing failure. A seized bearing will spin inside the cup, melting or tearing it. Replacing the bearing cup is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the rear handle cover. I'll also remove both of the motor brush covers. Next, I'll remove the motor brushes. I'll pull the brush spring back and lock it out of the way with a little plastic post. I'll remove the brush wire and then I can remove the brush from the holder. Next, I'll remove the separator fan. The fan is screwed onto the armature shaft. It is a reverse screw. I'll lock the motor from spinning with the lockout button you would use when you change grinding wheels. Then I can remove the fan. Now I'll separate the gearbox and armature from the rest of the motor. and I'll pull the armature away from the gearbox. With the armature removed, now I can remove the bearing cup. I'll use a small screwdriver to remove it from the bearing. Now I'll install the new bearing cup. I'll place it over the bearing, and again use a small screwdriver to work it into place. I'll apply a little grease to the pinion gear and then reinstall the armature assembly to the gearbox. As I install it, I need to make sure that these tabs on the metal plate align with the slots on the gearbox housing. I'll tap it with a rubber mallet just to make sure I have the bearing set. Now I'll slide the armature back into the motor housing and secure the gearbox to the motor with the screws. Now I'll reinstall the separator fan. And again, this is a reverse thread. I'll lock out the armature with the gearbox lockout button and tighten the fan up. Now I'll reconnect the lower half of the handle to the motor housing. As I do this, I'll make sure that the wires are tucked out of the way. Now I'll reinstall the brushes. I'll thread the brush wire through the arm Install the brush into the holder, lower the arm down against so the brush contacts the commutator, and reinstall the brush wire. Then I'll place the tension spring back over the arm. And I repeat this for the second brush. Now 
Now I'll reinstall the handle cover. And secure it with the screws. And the brush covers. And that's all it takes to install a new bearing cup on your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.